Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share the latest post from Julie Wedby. The title is The King's Cup, The Trumpet Sounding, and The Birthing of the Firstborn. This word was posted September 11th, 2022. And I would just like to share quickly that after these two messages here. There are some more messages to, to further read, and I will share the link in the comment section so that you can read the messages after these ones. So the first message is from August 1st, 2022. My dear child, I am here. I am watching. I am listening. As you draw closer and closer to me, I will share more of the mysteries you desire. You who walk with me are given treasures and gifts from home, my kingdom, where you already reside with me. I have a cup full and prepared by me for you, my king's cup overflowing with my love, my peace, my joy, and gifts specific to the intimate relationship we share together. I sing over you and long, just as you do, for the appointed time of our full consummation. It is upon you as I complete the finishing work in this realm. The preparations have been made for you. Your place is set. I tell you all of my plans before they happen, and you will be instructed according to my trumpet sounding that I approach quickly. Your frequency has already been raised and is attuned to my spirit. And just before I am to infuse you with the mighty strength, I will inform you from heaven. And that is the end of that first message. And there's another message here from September 3rd. And Julie says here that she has special places in the spirit that she likes to go to talk to or sit and listen to Yahushua. It's usually the same couple of places, but she had asked to go somewhere different that day, somewhere of his choosing and she found herself in a very large wheat field and wind blowing beautifully. Directly in front of her was Yahushua, and he was dressed in a long white linen robe, his hair blowing in the breeze. He was mock sorry, walking among the wheat, dragging his hand through it and smiling. I heard him then say to me with such joy in his heart and voice, The harvest is now ready and tears began streaming down her face. And this is the message. Is there not now a holy hush amongst mine own? As the world continues to be lulled into a deeper and deeper numbness and apathy by the ever-increasing deceptions and distractions, it is my jewels who have been tuned to my spirit that have known in this new season to withdraw even further into the secret place of my heart. I have whispered to you that it is time to enter into the secret place to remain, the chamber of intimacy, the hoopa, where I envelop you, nourish you, and keep you from that which is not of me, until I fully indwell you. The bridal chamber is where you, my beloved, wait for your groom, Having the keys to my kingdom, you come through the door, carrying the oil of my anointing, away from all things unclean and unholy. You are separated as kings and priests unto me, and you who have been refined by fire will know a new and glorious experience, moving forward as finely tuned instruments of my glory. It is here that you will be shaped into perfection and complete the last tasks here in the inner chamber. You, my remnant, now move forward on your way to a visible, tangible victory in this realm. As heaven invades earth through you, this last push you have experienced has been the final push through the remaining dross of this journey. <clears throat> Before your birthing, there is a final contraction and then your next season begins. Would I cause you to labor and not bring forth? Does a mother not need 
to push the hardest right at the end of her labor in order for the child to come forth? For many, this last contraction has been the most difficult, as the weariness of the journey coupled with the darkness that is palpable now in this realm has appeared almost impossible to overcome. But have I not told you that with me all things are possible? You have my understanding that the victory is already won, and my burdens are light. I am causing you to shed the last vestiges of self in order that I can fully enter in. Everything I have already taught you must now be applied. Your testing is complete. It is only the application of the knowledge, wisdom, and instruction you have been given that need be applied to every relationship situation and challenge that presents itself. Think of this as the drill before the main event. Does one not practice and apply the steps and instruction necessary to perform an important function prior to the actual event? It is in doing this now, moment by moment, that I will reveal to you any areas that are left that need a bit of adjusting or fine-tuning so that you are walking in complete alignment and obedience. I correct and reprove those I love, do I not? Continue to come to me as often as possible and keep your heart and your spirit attuned to my instruction. I have told you that you will hear from heaven and know that the moment has come. You have come to a weighty and significant moment in this season, and when I move mightily, as I am about to, shaking all things that can be shaken, nothing, nothing will remain the same. It will be as a moment of birthing for the remnant, my jewels, and a sobering moment of stark realization for most others. <clears throat> there has always been a first in my design. The patterns reveal this in my word, but to those in the group to come after, I have offered victory as well, and my kingdom eternal. Only the timing of the experience will differ from the first group. Each soul's experience moving forward is directly based on the intimacy of that soul and its spiritual maturity. All are completely loved. All are mine. A few will simply join me first in a very unique assignment that this earth has not yet seen. The scrolls are prepared. A council of elders awaits my beckoning. A great transfer is to take place. There are many layers to this, as I am instructing your spirits individually now, and then all will come together as one to fulfill my purposes. Arise, Zion. Arise and thresh, put on your strength and your beautiful garments, for your king and groom desires you. My glory will rise upon you, and my favor is with you as our appointed time is come. Rejoice, as so sweet will be our reunion. Come, my firstborn ones, and allow my glory, my strength, my healing, and my love to pour through you unhindered. I love you, my daughter, and my children. I love you, Yahushua. And that is the end of these messages. Again, I will post the link to this message in the comment section. And if you read further down after the scriptures, there's some more messages that she was uh, given that you can read through for yourselves. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.